Well, it looks like the Wild Rose and progressive conservatives are getting along and agreeing on important things, but they're also the only ones standing together to stand up for the laid off oil and gas workers looking for jobs. Actually, this crowd that marched to the legislature are part of a larger group of engineers, geologists and geophysicists that are sitting at a 50% plus unemployment rate that are willing to be retrained. Remember that group Iron and Earth I told you about? If you don't, you can check out the link that I included in the text part of this story. But they're the ones that Zipporah Berman, the anti-oil activist hired by Rachel Notley, introduced to the NDP to get them government help to retrain unemployed oil and gas workers to install solar panels. While these people that were at this rally are lining up to get those jobs, they're desperate for work. But listen to Wild Rose MLA Prasad Panda explain how the Alberta government is completely stonewalling these hard up Albertans that have asked to meet with them many times over about retraining programs. Some of these uh, farmer oil and gas workers who were my colleagues when I worked in the patch, uh, they, they were my colleagues in the, uh, in the engineering field and uh, they approached us a week ago and uh, saying, they tried to meet the government ministers, NDP ministers, uh, to represent their concerns about uh, outsourcing of work and also about the retraining and then their difficulties in getting a fair uh, opportunity to work on uh, green energy projects and other infrastructure projects. Uh, they felt, uh, you know, some of those companies, they think that because these guys are trained in oil and gas, they are not suitable for uh, other, uh, other jobs. So. They, they were trying to talk to the government ministers and get some answers about that, but then they were, uh, they were not granted with appointments and uh, ministers uh, turned them around and say, and uh, asked them to go and meet different, different officials and they were not getting the answers. So they got frustrated and they approached our uh, Wild Rose and PC colleagues. Uh, if we could connect them with, uh, with the ministers, so I wrote uh, letters, to, I, I sent emails to a couple of the ministers asking them to make time to meet with them. Uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't give them time to meet. And it's not even that the NDP are evading questions and requests for meetings from unemployed skilled workers. They're literally running away from them. Watch the Minister of Advanced Education, Marlon Schmidt, take off when confronted by PC MLA Rick McIver when he requests for the minister to say a few words to the crowd. Go run, minister! Go run, minister! <laughs> he, he, he is the minister. He's Go the, run, he, minister! He is the minister and he and my colleagues here who are incredible public servants. Trust me. They are not engineers, but I tell you, they are very so was this the Minister of Advanced Education or an actual gazelle? This is the guy in charge of making sure people have access to these programs. The NDP are completely forgetting that we pay them to do their jobs and to serve Albertans and not the other way around. Do you really think they care about unemployed oil and gas workers after seeing that? And what's more is that Panda explains that a lot of the people that attended the rally are new Canadians. Some of them are actually new Canadians, came here for opportunity, economic opportunity, uh, but then their dreams are shattered and this government is making their life miserable. It's not making it better, it's making their life worse and miserable and it's not affordable because of the carbon tax and other job killing policies like 100 megaton cap on oil sands development. Doesn't it say a lot about the NDP when they run away from an obvious minority group like that, even though they say they're in it for the little guy? It tells me that they actually don't care about people unless they know that they can secure their votes. And it also tells me that they actually hate the oil and gas industry and the out of work professionals that come along with it. These professionals are just another inconvenience for the NDP and they're a reflection of the absolutely atrocious job they're doing managing this economic crisis. The only jobs they've really created without using public money are the ones in foreign countries when they chased investments away with their domestic job killing carbon tax. Caucus members from both the Wild Rose Party and the Progressive Conservatives were out to listen to what these unemployed professionals had to say. 
including Brian Jean, leader of the official opposition, the Wild Rose Party. Meanwhile, the NDP are busy astroturfing seemingly genuine oil and gas workers in from outside of Alberta that say they want to help, but who haven't even retrained one worker. They even told me they haven't created one job since they actually announced their intentions over a year ago in an email. The NDP aren't on the side of Albertans. They'll put on a smile and say they support the oil and gas projects and jobs for people like those at this rally, all while hiring their activist friends. The NDP might run away from these professionals, but while they do, they can't expect Albertans not to run away from them next election. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. I want Rachel Notley to fire the anti-oil activist Zipporah Berman, and I wanted her to do it yesterday. If you agree, visit fireberman.ca and sign our petition to show that you want these paid activists out of the government.